morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm a forlorn, I'm on a journey to lose a lot of weight. I am down about 70 pounds, well, a little over, and I have about 130, a well less to go. And I'm ready to be saying something else at the beginning of my video. Welcome to a Way in Wednesday video. I'm doing a full day of eating, not just any full day of eating, a full day of eating like Greg said. Well, my husband and I bought his cookbook and I'm gonna do a full day of recipes out of that cookbook. A couple of them are our favorite recipes. A couple of them I have never dared try because they look scary to me. I'm very excited to be shaking, shaking things up. And we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna dive right in to this full day of eating with some breakfast. just need to prepare it so and there we have it all the ingredients are put together it's the bread that I like to get it's fairly inexpensive and I don't really buy bread often but if I'm going to I like this 45 calorie sliced bread this was only 30 calorie sliced bread which I also like but it also costs twice as much as that bread so anyway there's our bread situation we have all of the ingredients put together and we're ready to cook and then we have the extras. Here is the inside mixture. Here is the egg. This did call for protein powder and I just used, it was um peanut butter protein powder, peanut butter chocolate. We had Nutter Bar Blast, so close enough, right? I think so. You look like English royalty with your cone. I will not be sharing recipes in this because I feel like that would be wrong to share the recipes that are in a cookbook. I will link his channel and his cookbook down below, um, but definitely check out his cookbook. We're really enjoying it so far. So here is my husband's and here is mine. We're about to eat. Eat it. Smells good. Excited? Yeah. I mean, I... I'm a little tired. <laughs> you look tired. Yeah. He's been he's been playing his games and relaxing ever since he got sick, which he was really really sick. That's not entirely true. He's been running lately. Like the past few days, he's been running. But easing back in, he um has to go get completely cleared off of his quarantine today you know, military life. Um, but yeah, he's gonna get the first bite. Oh, I didn't put any syrup on yours because I figured you'd want the maple and not the low calorie stuff. It's eatable. It's a repeat eatable or you're glad you tried it, ready to try something else? I could eat it again, but I'm down to try something else. Says getting his syrup, he think will help. He thinks will help it, and the recipe calls for the syrup because there's not a lot of sweetening stuff in it. Well, that's not entirely true. There's banana, which is sweet, and there's the strawberry, and then I didn't have the um, packs of sugar that it called for, so I used like the stevia squeeze things, and I was very modest with it. So I did a little less. I didn't do the most as far as making it sweet. Anyway, now it's my turn. There's that bite. Next time definitely needs to have the sweetener, I think that the recipe calls for and not my substitute. Um, but it's delicious. So it is lunchtime. I am very excited for lunch because I'm doing the bison pizza. It is my most favorite thing out of this cookbook. And like it's, it's gotta be like top 10, maybe even higher than that, favorite things that I like to make at home. So this pizza is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the bison meat itself and go from there. 
rice and still cooking. I really enjoy banana peppers on mine. My husband does not. I've got some mushrooms for us, a red onion, jalapeno slices, and the pizza sauce. The meat is coming along. I'm ahead of schedule. That makes me very happy. So I'm all the way to 3 p.m. and it is only 1 p.m. Did the flatbread for about three minutes and then I put all the toppings on it. My husband does not like banana peppers, so everything except for the banana peppers is the same. And yeah, now I'm just gonna cook them and then I'll put the cheese on top. leftover bison. Here's the flatbread that we use. So when we measure this out, it's actually a little more. It's more like 130, 135 calories, not 120. So his recipe makes two, but since this is serving is half, we just do one. So got the jalapeno, my banana peppers. This is just a Walmart brand pizza sauce, but the macros are pretty good on it. And then we just use good old fashioned mozzarella, which is only 80 calories a serving. So it's pretty good. Now the cheese is all melted. Alrighty, I'm gonna go enjoy my lunch, my bison pizza. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. It is the best. I'm excited to see what dinner brings. Um, so I will see y'all when I either walk the pups or go to the gym or at dinner, one of the three. All right, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I am going to the gym for the first time in two weeks. So. Still got a little bit of snow, not very much. It felt so great to be back at the gym. So I have, it's not, it's a funny story and it's also embarrassing. And then it's also awesome because of what I did, what I accomplished. So right now what I'm showing you is at the end of the workout. And yes, my squats could be deeper. So I came in and everything was kind of rearranged, but in a super functional and awesome way. It's been two weeks. Like we've been quarantining for two weeks. So I really haven't been around people. So it was slightly overwhelming. I partnered up with someone and we were doing squats to find our one rep max. I didn't jump up crazy high for the three reps, but it was, it was higher than I've ever done before. I just didn't know that when I was doing it because, and this is the funny story, I convinced myself that last week when I deadlifted 305 pounds, in my mind, squatted that. Like I even told people, I'm like, yeah, last week I squatted 305 pounds. I'm gonna see if I can do heavier. Um, No, I was not gonna see if I could do heavier than that. I really thought like that was like my reality. I would have argued tooth and nail to anyone that like was, doubted that unless somebody was like no you deadlifted that then that probably would have clicked because it it clicked for me just it took a minute Got all the way up to 285 pounds and i loaded the bar up 
And this was gonna be my two reps before I like jumped up to the max. And I did it and I was like, when I first lifted the bar up, I was like, this is heavier than I remember it being. <laughs> well, I have never lifted the bar that heavy before, so duh. Um, and I squatted down and the first one felt, it didn't feel easy by any means, but compared to the second one, it felt like easy. It was so smooth and like it, it was like heavy, but it, it wasn't, I wasn't shaky or anything. The second one, I still don't think I was shaky. Um, Lucy, the coach was watching me and she said that it looked really great. She was so excited. And when I got done, I was so disappointed because it, it felt like that second rep felt really hard. And I was like, why is this feeling so hard? I did 305 pounds. I did not, I did not do 305 pounds. And I cannot believe that I was disappointed. So I did it. Um, a few minutes later, I rested and then I was, Lucy was like, go up and wait. That was, that was too easy for you. You need to go up and wait. And I was like, I can't, I can't. And so Eunice had come over to film it for a video she was putting together. I didn't even record this. I had my camera there, but I was like, no big deal. Like this isn't even close. Like this feels so hard. It's nowhere close to 300 pounds. So I may as well just not film it. Cause I really wasn't planning on filming anything this day. Then I did it again. Eunice filmed it and it was like, it was exciting. But again, I was like, why is this so hard? because I did one rep and I was like, dang, I'm not doing another one. Like I am, I am spent. Like it was hard. I didn't even go down as low as I had went the first two, but it was excited and cheering. And, and I was like, I was happy. But in my head, I was like, why, why am I doing? I'm like, I guess your body just changes week to week, which your body does change week to week. So let's watch me squat my personal record, 285 pounds. In retrospect, I am so proud of myself. I feel like it's so smooth. I wish I would have filmed it with my camera and I'm so grateful that Eunice has it and that way I have it because there is no way I ever would have tried 285 pounds if I didn't get confused and it's embarrassing that I got confused. And then after I had to go around and tell everyone after all of the work, the whole workout that I had told that I had squatted 305 pounds, I had to go tell everyone. Cause I'm like, I can't just go around with people thinking I've squatted that much because that would make me a liar. But so I was like, I don't know. I don't know why. Cause I don't know why. I don't know why I got that in my head. Maybe it's just fate. Maybe I was supposed to squat 285 pounds and I never would have tried it if I didn't get confused. This type of weight scares me, especially after the fact when I realized that it, it was when I started the workout that you've been watching for most of my story time, um, I started doing the sumo squats and I was like, I was just, I was really thinking about why it was so hard for me to do that. I was really beating myself up and um, I was like, you know what? You did not, you did not squat that. You deadlifted 305 pounds. And then I was like, what was, I think 200 and like, 20 is the highest that I had ever gone before this. Maybe I've done more, but I don't think I had. I think I think that was the highest. Um, it might've even just been 215 for that one video that I did in December, but I think I've gone up from there. So anyway, I'm so proud of myself. Thanks for letting me share this story. Let's go home. Got back from the gym not too long ago and <laughs> boy, I have a story, but I am so hungry. And um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make dinner. And <laughs> I may have already told you the story when I do like a voiceover, but I didn't really film that much there. So yeah, I don't know. I was just enjoying, I was enjoying being back. And then I also was a little overwhelmed being back. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know why that's a thing. Like it's been a couple weeks because of the, you know, my husband getting the virus. Um, so we've been, I've been doing home workouts and then the past couple days, my husband's been doing home workouts too. But anyway, okay, it's time for dinner. <laughs> okay, so I am making chili pork stew. So I did have to get two of these tenderloins. It is like almost four of what the recipe calls for. So I'm actually turning this into meal prep. That's what I'm doing, which is good because I haven't done any other meal prep 
for this week. We have meal prep from what I've already done, but anyway, yeah. So I'm nervous because this says to like blend this. I've never put regular food, in, I mean, I put smoothie food into a blender, but never like this. And our blender is not that awesome. I'm gonna give it a go. So here goes nothing or everything. We're about to find out. <laughs> So this is it, it needs to simmer just a little longer. I thought it would be more soupy, maybe I didn't do enough chicken broth, but it is looking good and it is very green. In a good way? Oh, all right, all right. <clears throat> On a 10 point scale, what do you give it? Probably a seven. Hard to please. <laughs> so we have eight prepped meals now, and then we have our dinner for tonight. So these are mine. I have 100 grams of jasmine rice, and then a serving of the, um, the chili chili, whatever, the spicy pork stew. Live up to its name, spicy. And then he has 200, so he has twice the rice. So the green ones are for my husband, and the black ones are for me. Looks like I also gave him more meaty portions, but that's fine, whatever. I need less. Okay, so I have 100 grams of white or jasmine rice, and then I have the stew on top. So here is dinner, and I cannot wait to try it. Is it a make again or no? We can make this again. Yeah. How about this compared to the other dish that I make all the time now, the chicken and cacciatore? I kind of prefer the chicken cacciatore. Why? Because of the spice level? Not just the spice level. I mean, <clears throat> I like chicken more than pork. Okay, what if I made this with chicken? I try it. Well, here goes nothing. He says it's spicy. I really don't think it's that spicy. But I also eat jalapenos out of the jar, so. So there's my empty bowl. So the whole time I was eating it, it didn't <laughs> seem that spicy, but now that I'm done. My mouth is on fire, but it was so good. He said that he prefers the kitchen cacciatore or whatever. I definitely prefer this. It's definitely more my wheelhouse. So maybe I'll try it with chicken the next time. See if that's a little bit better for him. Maybe a little less jalapenos next time. Or just fresh jalapenos. We didn't use fresh jalapenos because nowhere had them. So anyway, that was dinner time. It's a little underdone, but I don't really care. So I'm sending it. Sending it.
Good morning, beautiful people. It's the next day. I know I said full day of eating and this is the next day, so that's kind of weird, but it just is what it is. So I'm gonna do the weigh-in Wednesday portion, but first I wanna talk a little bit about my full day of eating experience. So I really enjoyed the full day of eating experience. I didn't eat as much. I didn't eat as many calories as I usually do, and that muffin at the end, it, I think it was the xanthium gum, was so filling that like I had planned a, an additional, I was gonna do a quesadilla for like a late night snack. I didn't need it, so I just didn't, like I was really full. So I just went to bed instead. <laughs> Um, and then I decided I was gonna wait and see how hungry I was this morning and this morning like I haven't even eaten breakfast yet I'm good. So I'm I'm really interested if I were to eat like this more often um, For like a period of time what it would do For me like would would I end up more hungry would I be fine? So I don't know. I think I might give it a go um, I will say this that stew was a big mess in the kitchen. I definitely prefer less mess. The less mess, the best. Does that make it, I don't, I don't even know what I just said. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about my weigh in. I am menstrual. <laughs> I'm very bloated. So all that being said, I have finally touched out of the 80s. So I am at 279.5. It's only a 0.7 loss, so like a little over a half a pound. Not excited about that, but I am excited once the bloat goes away to see where my weight has landed at. So, we'll see. And I feel like I'm looking rather tired today. I'm excited, I'm excited about doing a full anabolic day. And I'm excited, I'm excited to go forward. Excited to be back in the gym. I feel relieved to be back in the gym for sure. There's just something the energy community having community having people around me when I'm working out it just That's where it's at for me. I um I enjoy that so much more now I there are things I enjoy at home So when I very first started working out at home during quarantine I was like, oh, I can dance and I'm free to do whatever I want and I don't have to think about you know, what if somebody sees me? So that was fun because like I mean that's silly that I'm like What if somebody sees me, but then I record it and put it online, but there's a difference in like Acting a fool in public and acting a fool in the privacy of your home gym That's different <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about me maybe doing a full day of eating like other people and Let me know. Let me just let me know all your thoughts. I love you so much I hope that you're having a beautiful Wednesday and I'll see you next time